namaste and hello. Welcome to the zone of success to get everything you want. Now we have come up with the law of fast brain. Yes, this will be a very brain tickling exercise. So let's start the journey to get the instant results ASAP. That is as soon as possible. Definitely we all want amazing results. We all want fast results. We want everything to be speedy. But let me tell you that law of sanskar implies that consistent dedicated efforts over a period of time is foundation of any sustainable transformation or change or fortune or super success. Now the next question that pops in the mind of impatient ones would be how long is the period of wait till I see tangible results? What if I want instant results? What if I don't have enough time to wait for long process of sanskar, transformation and then get results? What if I am already too late and can't postpone my success to an undefined further long period? Truly legitimate and valid questions. Unless there is a value of importance of time, no worthwhile result can be obtained. After all, we will not be living for an infinitely long time or the cost of delay is not only expensive for us but for so many other lives. If good things must happen, it is always better that they happen as early as possible. Law Fast Brain provides answer to these questions and zeal to make the best of every moment. It states that time is not absolute. Regardless of how much crisis you have, how much urgency you have or how much free time you have, world is designed to be same at all speeds. This is almost the theory of relativity. The theory of relativity states that speed of light is the same in all situations. It is same irrespective of whether you are standing still or running fast in the direction of light or running fast against the direction of light. Your speed does not matter how so much fast you may run. Speed of light will exactly be the same. Light is the source through which we observe the world. Its speed never changes. We make sense of enlightened world through mind, right? Its speed also never changes. And speed of mind, minded, is faster than speed of light. In other words, you can be as fast as possible in your thoughts. Your mind is designed to work at super speed. Theoretically, it is possible to make any mental transformation within fractions of a second. Now, world is reflection of your inner realities. And inner realities are governed by our sanskars, that is patterns. Law of fast brain states that it is possible to change your sanskars also within a split second. So there is no excuse for delay in making that transformation. There is powerful Shiva Sankalp Sukta in Vedas that detail the power of mind. It begins with the assertion that mind can travel faster than light. It can convert any resolve into reality in no time. The ultimate wisdom is already embedded within the mind. The greatest of powers lay hidden in the mind. All one has to do is to make a resolve. Stronger resolve. Quicker the transformation. And mind has capability to make the infinitely strong resolve. When that infinite strength of resolve is achieved, you become an avatar. What more? You can reach that level of infinity right now, this very moment. The delays we see in reaching that infinity are due to lack of resolve and doubt. Eliminate them and eliminate all miseries from life. Instead of wasting time in analysis, learn to act fast. Not in haste, but 
in speed. Law of fast brain states that time constraints do not matter. You can keep thinking about the same problems for ages and reach nowhere. And you can solve the same problem within a split second. Now mind is designed for super fast speed. It is faster than light. We have agreed to it. And it is more dynamic than anything else in the world. Do you agree? Yeah. The problem in life emerges when we deliberately slow down the speed of mind. When we deliberately waste time in random thoughts or sluggishness. The fifth gear is designed for high speed. If you drive at 5 km per hour in fifth gear, it will destroy your gearbox. If you think and operate slow, you destroy your destiny. A rocket can travel faster than speed of sound. But if you carry the rocket over shoulders of 100 men and ask them to run, it will be a joke. Not only will you misuse the rocket, you waste time and efforts of men who carry the rocket. Learn to respect the rocket of mind. The fastest you run would still be slower than the design speed of mind. So keep increasing speed of thought. Keep increasing the dynamism. Keep accelerating without assuming that you have reached your peak speed. In cricket, technically it is possible to hit a six in each and every ball. In cricket of life, same law applies. Only difference is that you do not retire from the cricket of life. So until you have learned to hit a six in every single ball bowled by any bowler of the world, keep practicing. There is still more to learn and improve. A normal human mind uses only a small fraction of its human mind. Some say it is 5%, some say it is 10% for geniuses. Look. God has given you 90% buffer, even if you become a genius. Don't waste the buffer. Stretch to reach the 100%. Whether you reach it or not, does not matter. The zeal to reach with fastest speed will make you a hero and provide the best that you deserve. A word of caution. Dynamism does not mean jumping the mind around like a monkey. There is a difference in acceleration of car and a brake fail of car. The difference is all about control. Be fast, but in control. Spending energies in randomly and aimlessly doing or thinking of thousands of things is even more harmful than a slow mind. If you have a fickle mind, learn to control it. Don't reduce your dynamism in protects of controlling your mind. Instead, for practice, decide to do one thing as fast as possible. When speed is increased to reasonable level, add one more. And then one more. Do ensure that speed is not compromised. Also ensure that tasks are purposeful and lead to a systematic purpose. Remember, the fundamental laws of growth, systematic and purpose, yes, don't transgress them. Multitasking is extremely good, but you must be the controller. Don't drive fast on roads. That is dangerous and irresponsible. Curb that euphoria for pseudo-adventure at the cost of lives of others. Instead, take the real challenge. Drive as fast as you can in the road of mind. Be as fast as possible in speed of thinking, variety of things. Purpose of thinking has to be very well there. There is no speed limit. Light travels at 300,000 meters per second. Can you beat that? Mind is faster than that. You can quickly process hundreds of pieces of information intuitively and come to a decision in a split second. Can you complete your tasks with quality in fastest time? Can you increase the energy you display? In whatever profession you are in, 
challenge yourself to speed up as much as possible because compromise has no game out here. Make this an addiction. Don't compromise on control, but keep challenging yourself and beating your own records. There is one more important insight which I want to give you and that emerges from the law of fast brain. Never ever believe that you are in a time crunch. Never believe that time is short and crisis is too big. You are designed to act optimally in any crisis regardless of time crunch. Your mind can adjust itself to whatever speed is necessary to solve this crisis. Even if you fail to solve, take it as a practice session. Don't take anything in life too seriously because soul is immortal and no one can harm your soul. Further, you will get the best deserve irrespective of whatever rest of the world say. They may conspire against you, but you will get what you deserve. All you need to do is to put your best foot forward and with best enthusiasm. And whatever be the outcome, use it only to improve. Neither think about results, nor regret them, nor rejoice them. Simply use them to be faster and better. Remember, it is never too late. The only cause of worry for you should be delay in acting right now. Even brooding about why you delayed in the past is something that is slowing you down right now. So don't do that. Don't destroy the rocket by pushing and pulling it around like a moron. Just shoot it to the sky. Don't think of anything else. Nothing is life. Nothing in life is worthwhile if it reduces your speed even by a fraction. If you have to work with others and bear with others slow speed, find enough other purposeful tasks for you so that you can compensate and do not slow down. If someone says you must slow for a while and enjoy with him, politely say, sorry. Life already gives several occasions of slowing down, like diseases or the sleeping habit. Soon people will adjust to your speed. They may say anything, but they will respect you for your speed and accommodate the same. Frankly, you don't have to worry about peer pressure or your own habits. Simply get faster and faster. So fast that thinking translates into intuitions and intuition morphs into experiences. Experience transforms into enlightenment. Now, you are in the zone of meditation. Though we will discuss meditation sometime later, but remember that meditation is about peace. It is not about blanking the mind. It is about blanking the mind from uncontrolled crap and focusing on the purposeful and relevant. It is about hearing the inner voice by destroying the noise around and following it for super duper speed. Just like servicing of your vehicle boosts the control, efficiency and speed, meditation takes you to an all new level of speed. In the current era, a lot of hoax is sold in the name of meditation. To decide what is definitely hoax, just test a few things. The people who meditate under that practice, are they more energetic and faster than others? Are they better multitaskers? Are they able to solve more complex problems and challenges in life much faster? Are they more dynamic? Are they more energetic? And if you get the answer as yes, you are in the right direction. If not, you are perhaps getting in trap of opium. Anyways, coming back to the law of fast brain, remember that speed is your pursuit. Never feel that time was short. Always believe that you need to be faster. You can break all barriers of sorrow and failures within a split and become a legend immediately. So think no further of past or future. We will all deal with it because 
these are just self-created miseries. Simply jump into quality, fast actions, thoughts, and intuitions. Be faster than you ever before. Beat your own record. Have you decided right now that you are jumping to lane of no speed limit? If yes, you need not pursue success and happiness anymore because you have already become success and happiness yourself. All the best. Continue with your fast brain and remember the lessons that we are born as success matters. Thank you for joining our course, Your Life Coach. 